Welcome to Lisa from Parks and Recreation. Today we're going to be showing you how to rent a park shelter from your phone. So the first thing you're going to do is go to ellisparks.net. Next, tap the green hamburger button in the top left hand corner. Then tap online registration. This redirects you to our splash page where you can register for everything that LSPR has to offer. Now what you're going to do is tap the gray hamburger button in the top left hand corner. Next, tap on the My Account Sign In slash Register button. This will take you to the login screen. Log into your account with your chosen username and password. Once back on the splash page, scroll down and tap the Shelter slash Facility Rentals button. The page will refresh and show you all of the shelters available to rent. To select the date that you are wanting to rent the shelter, tap the green filter button in the top right hand corner. Then tap the calendar icon under the date tab in the left column. Then tap the green search button. For example, I'm going to select Saturday, June 29th. The page will refresh with up-to-date information on which shelters are and are not booked for that day. For example, if I want to reserve the shelter for Brian C. Potbrook Park, I can scroll down to the bottom and see all available time slots in the book now section. If the time slot is green, the shelter is available for rental. If it's gray, the shelter has already been booked. I'm going to go ahead and tap the time slot, tap the up arrow, then tap the green add to cart button at the bottom of the screen. You will then be prompted to enter the amount of people for your rental, then tap continue. Next, I'm going to check mark which person in the household will be renting the shelter, then tap the green continue button. A sign will be posted to your rental shelter, so please fill in what you wish for it to say. Read over the waiver, scroll to the bottom, sign the document, then tap continue. This screen will refresh and show you how much you need to pay. Then you'll either tap the green proceed to checkout button if you're finished or tap the blue continue shopping button if you want to add more to your cart. Lastly, you'll be directed to your financial information to confirm for checkout. 